DNA repair enzymes are a small army of diverse functions that fix the various chemical modifications that happen during a cell's life cycle. All cells do this, but only a few of the enzymes are useful in vitro. MUDES is a DNA repair enzyme that binds to bubbles formed from a mismatch in duplex DNAs. In response to MUDES binding, the lesion will be repaired on the daughter strand during replication. Several methods of mutagenesis, including Kunkel and the Church Lab's MAGE method, require that this gene be knocked out for good efficiency as the introduced mutations will get repaired. This enzyme is also used in vivo to improve the fidelity of gene synthesis. Uracil DNA glycosylase excises the base from a U-nucleotide in a DNA resulting in an abasic site, meaning there is no base on the deoxyribose. DNA can have U residues due to the chemical reactions that can occur in the cell, but they can also be introduced deliberately through oligonucleotide synthesis. They can be used to generate extended sticky ends for ligation-independent cloning reactions. We spoke earlier of ligation-independent cloning methods that involve in vivo repair of annealed DNAs. The key step in this procedure is the generation of extended overhangs. One way to generate such overhangs is to introduce a U into the oligo used for PCR. You place this U residue 14 base pairs from the 5' prime end of the oligo, then incorporate it into the DNA by PCR. Treatment with uracil DNA glycosylase removes the U resulting in an abasic site, and then treatment with T4 endonuclease 5 will cleave the phosphate backbone next to the abasic site, releasing the short DNA. The DNA is then ready for ligation-independent cloning.